Maxwell is a subsidiary of uh, Endurance and uh, they are the key developers for uh, battery management system. Uh, Watsal, uh, we all know in the EV space, uh, battery pack is one component uh, which Definitely. is important and to control that, to manage that BMS is one of the crucial components. Help us out to know what's the status or the, what's the maturity of the product at the BMS level. Okay, so uh, we started this journey in 2016. We started with a battery pack in fact, but later at some period in time we realized that battery management system is something that needs to be paid more attention to. So we started developing battery management system at that time. And since then till now it has been a journey of six years and we have been working through several iterations. Till date we have deployed approximately 80,000 units on Indian as well as European roads. With that data, with that information, we have solved several issues and we have got that data and run and put this into the BMS. So our BMS is extremely mature with the issue with the experience of last six years of on roads and this has this is extremely ready and robust product for Indian two-wheeler and three-wheeler market. Wow so that was one of my following questions so two-wheelers and three-wheelers are the focus for you are you looking also into the four-wheeler markets? So currently we have taken a conscious business decision to focus on two-wheelers and three-wheelers. Considering Indian and European market, there is more adoption of two-wheelers and three-wheelers in EV space as of now. But we are very fastly moving into a four-wheeler market. We do have a product. We haven't commercialized yet. Our R&D team is ex working very fast on that. But we'll be very soon available with the four-wheeler and energy storage system BMS as well. Okay, are you in productions already and supplying to any of the OEMs at the moment? Yes, so we are in production with two-wheeler and three-wheeler BMSs. We are already supplying to few of the largest two-wheeler OEMs in India and we are also supplying to major battery pack makers in India as well as in European region. When we are talking about uh, BMS, uh, right, what challenges uh, you have overcome or what challenges you foresee is uh, necessary to take care of an efficient BMS system because that's the one which uh, really monitors and um, controls the temperature and also kind of cell balancing which is important. What challenges which you have overcome? Uh, so specifically the BMS is the brain of the battery and this brain needs to be, be functionally perfect in terms of assessing and managing the battery. Also, as you said, you said it's a brain of the battery, it needs to keep it under a particular temperature also ensure that the battery is working in the safe operating area to also ensure that there are several parameters that the BMS needs to be considered in the battery so that the battery can be protected from overcharging that can be protected for from short circuiting and you must have seen a lot of incidents that are recently happening in electric vehicle space so it is very important to ensure that everything is happening very accurately so that accuracy that development then maturity of the product has been a challenge for us but we have been constantly working we have been constantly improving the product so essentially now the product has been very robust and for the market fit product basically. Thank you, thank you Vizal. Shresht, uh, coming I on to, to add to this question yeah, yeah, sure, itself, please. I think uh, in general if you look at the accidents that have been happening related to battery safety, I think the major point of concern was not having a smart BMS, right? If you look at the Indian market, most people are more cost centric. The cost centric mindset has, had always been there and I think people are now realizing the importance of having something that is really smart enough to understand how to predict failures and to be able to take proactive measures in order to counter that and I think that is where our BMS uh, has been championing because we have like more than 300 odd uh, parameters in the BMS that you can configure according to the application that it is being uh, put in use to. Outside of that uh, we also have amazing mobile desktop and cloud applications that can help you play around with that data and really understand the trends of you know up trends of the application to which the BMS. So a kind of predictive assessment is something what you are already doing through the cloud. Correct. I think I will hold one question I'll, before moving to the clouds and talking about how you are talking about predictive assessment. We know in the BMS, in the embedded systems, right, we have the hardware as well as the software. So who does the hardware and uh, where is it uh, manufactured, uh, in which location of India? 
to be corrupted. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yes. Yeah. So the hardware and the entire technology is being developed in our Mumbai Mumbai head office, where our R and D and our technical team sits. So the hardware is being developed, designed over there itself, and also the software. So our, we have our in-house firmware and software team, which builds these firmwares to be flashed into the BMS, and we also we also constantly do several several testing on different parameters and we constantly improve the BMS in-house as well as once we get the feedback from the clients we constantly keep on appro- improving so, those so formats. bottom line is the complete development for the hardware and the software is done in India and you are completely absolutely. from ground zero you don't have any support from west or the east right absolutely absolutely wow, wow. and then the last question when you're talking about predictive uh, assessment on the cloud do you have also your own cloud service or are you already engaged with Microsoft or Azure no, so I think we have built our cloud services right from scratch. If you look at the, so I think another key USP of Maxwell's BMS is the ecosystem that you see on the screen as well. We basically have a mobile application that lets you connect to the BMS in real time. If if wireless, if if wired connectivity is not an option. Outside of that, while you are actually using and evaluating the product, you also have pretty amazing and feature-packed desktop applications that can uh, connect to the BMS over CAN and and help you with different sets of data to be able to understand how you need to tune it further for to be able to fit right into the application i think outside of that you also have the provision of getting this data fetched to the cloud where we basically have accumulated data words five or six years since when the uh, platform existed and i think we have leveraged that data to really understand how the product would be a different fit in different geographies and that's what um, we have been using to actually continuously improve good good process. thank you so what's your team strength at the moment from engineering uh, point of view we are from an engineering point I think of view. there are um, we are a total team of 120 odd people right now with um, I think engineers constituting more than 75 percent of them. and all situated in which part of India uh, so people in Mumbai? yeah in Mumbai itself there is another office in Manasar where all the operations and logistics happen Wow, good. Yes. So, uh, gentlemen, here I'm talking to two, two smart gentlemen, uh, Watsal and uh, Stress. Uh, battery management system is one of the crucial components in the EV Eco space. And they have managed it nice with their engineering ground zero. They have developed it and then there are a lot of reliable data which makes them feel confident about their product. Uh, they are all set in the space of uh, manufacturing and they are supplying it to one of the top OEMs. Would you want to name a few of them? I would not like to name them. I'm sorry. Anyways, I'm sure, uh, sure we'll come to know about it. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Uh-huh time and uh, good luck for your product portfolios in the EV space. Thank you. Thank you very much.